An append query is an action query that adds records to a table. An append query is often referred to as an insert query because the SQL syntax uses the insert into command. An append query inserts one or more new records into the specified table. There are essentially two methods for adding records to a table. The first is to add one record at a time. Here is the syntax. Specify the name and value for each field to add. Use the field list to define which fields to insert the data in and then supply the data itself in a value list. Contacts table has the fields contact ID, first name, etc. This statement will insert the values 10, Dave, Holt, Atlanta, Georgia, and 30339 into the contact ID, first name, last name, city, state, and zip fields respectively. Run the query. Open contacts. One customer record is added. The data types of the values inserted should be compatible with the field data types. Zip field in contacts has a data type as number. If you try to enter a text value, access displays an error. Zip field in this statement is N33. Run the query. Access displays a type mismatch error. The order of the fields does not matter. This is the order of the fields in contacts. In this statement, the order of fields is not the same as in the table definition. The order of fields in the insert into clause should be same as in the values clause. Run the query. Open contacts. One record is inserted. If you do not specify a field, the default value or null is inserted. For example, in this statement, Contact ID, city, state, and zip are not specified. Run the query. Open contacts. Null values are inserted in city and state and default value 0 in zip. Contact ID is auto number, so next number is inserted. You can omit the field list, but only if you supply values for all fields defined in the table in the order in which they were declared in the table definition. For example, use this statement to insert contact ID, first name and last name. Run the query. Access will display an error. Use this statement to add a customer. If you omit the field list, values for all the fields must be added in the order they are defined in the table definition. Run the query. Open the contacts. A new record is added. Append queries are very powerful and lets you combine data from multiple tables and or queries, specify criteria and put them into fields of an existing table. To add many records to a table at one time, use the insert into statement along with a select statement. Here is syntax. Target, name of the table to insert the new records. Target fields, field names where data is to be inserted. Select fields, these values are going to be inserted into the target table. The list of fields here must match the order of the fields in the target field list. Target fields and select fields can have different names. The data types of the fields in the source table must be compatible with the data types of the fields in the destination table. Select query is used to get the data to be appended. We have two tables, products and products old. To append records from products old to products, you can use the append query. This statement inserts all the values in product ID, name, description, price and category ID fields from the products old table into the corresponding fields in the products table. To preview the appended records, click on View and select Datasheet View. The query returns the records from the table 
products old that are going to be appended into the table products. Run the query. Access displays a confirmation message showing the number of rows to be appended. Click on S. Open products. All the 14 records from products old are appended to products. If the tables are defined exactly alike, you can omit the field list. Products old and products have the same table structure. Use this statement to append the records from products old into products. Run the query. All the records from products old are appended into products. You can append values from multiple tables based on a criteria into a table. For example, to append orders which were placed after 1-1-2022 to sales history table, use this statement. Sales history is the target table. The data to be appended is retrieved from orders, customers and sales reps using select query with joins. The data type of the first field order ID to be inserted is a number. The data type of the first field selected customer is short text. Run the query. You will get a data, data type mismatch error. Change the order of the fields to match the target fields. Target and source field names can be different. The third field is phone number, source field is phone. You can use an expression to combine values from multiple fields and use its value to append into a single field. The second field is an expression joining the first name and last name fields from customers table. Click on view and select data sheet view to preview the data that is going to be appended. Shows that 63 records are going to be appended. Sales history has 90 records. Run the query. Click on S to confirm. Open sales history. 63 records are appended to the sales history table, making it 153 records. When appending a record, you cannot include a multi-valued field in the field list along with other fields. Flowers and flowers old have a multi-valued field colors. This statement is used to append data from flowers old to flowers. Multi-value field colors is included. Run the query. Access displays an error saying insert into query cannot contain a multi-valued field. Now remove the multi-valued field colors from the query. Run the query. The flowers table is appended with records from flowers old. The colors values are null. You can insert a single value into a multi-valued field by using an append query. To insert pink in colors field in flowers where flower ID equal to 1, use this statement. Multi-value field should be the only field in the field list and include the value property of the field. Where clause specifies in which record the color value is appended. Run the query. Open flowers. Pink has been appended to colors where flower ID equal to 1. To append another color value to colors where flower equal to 1, change the value to red. Run the query. Open the table. Red has been appended to the colors field. Use this statement to append yellow to colors in all the rows in flowers table at the same time. Run the query. Access displays a warning message saying one record is not added because of key violation. This happens because the value we are trying to append already exists in the colors field in that record. Click on S to append the other records. Open flowers. Yellow has been appended to all the records. You cannot include an attachment field using an append statement. Customers A and customers B have an attachment field photo ID. To append data from customers A into customers B, use this statement which includes all fields. Run the query. Since multiple values are allowed in an attachment field, you will get an error. 
use this statement to append all the fields except the photo ID field. You can include any other field except the attachment field and a multi-value field. Run the query. The records from customer B are appended to customers A. Number of attachments is zero. It is not possible to insert data into an attachment field using SQL. To download example access file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.